I saw the movie last night, and it was so entertaining. And I got to tell you, you have, or Jacob, I guess, right? His fan base has really grown. You got most of the reactions from the crowd. Wow. How does that make you feel? Wow. I mean, uh, Jacob feels great about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, it's it's actually funny that you say that because. Jacob gets a little frustrated in this one because he becomes this close to Bella. He kisses her and everything, and he, he's this close, and then gets slammed down and told no again. Now, the first installment of this franchise was essentially a very small movie, and it's grown into this worldwide franchise. How have you dealt with becoming an international superstar? I mean, I've just kind of compartmentalized everything that comes with it, with the job. I mean. My real life, my life before is my, the life that I had before is kind of exactly the same. I still have the same friends and stuff, and uh, I do the same things and I think in a relatively similar way. But you know, when you get these fan encounters and stuff, I just label that all as part of the the work aspect, and I found that's kind of the easiest way of dealing with it so far, anyway. It seems that you're becoming more comfortable with all of the attention that you've been getting. Through this franchise, is that accurate? Yes, I'm getting more comfortable with the attention. Totally, um, probably because uh, it like got to it, it like it gets to such a ridiculous point, like that that you just sort of go like, "This is a joke." <laughs> I should seriously relax and like try to stop controlling everything because when you do that, it just gets like ruined. Every like the waters just get polluted. It's weird and it's so confusing and vague and like everywhere. It's so yeah. I'm definitely getting more comfortable because I just don't care anyway. It's not that I don't care. It's it's that I, I don't care to control it. Now you personally, Taylor, have gone from an actor in a small film, as we've talked about, to an absolute worldwide celebrity. How do you manage to stay as grounded as you seem to be? I describe it as I, I have two different worlds I live in. I have this world, which is amazing, and I have a lot of fun with it. I'm doing what I love to do. But I also have the world that you know existed before I was here, and I still have that world. And as long as I can maintain that world, spend time with my family, my friends, do the same things I used to do, uh, that, that, then I'll be fine. And I want to ask you about the kissing scenes that you have in the movie, and I know all of your female fans out there especially want to know what that's like. Is it is it awkward at all to film those scenes with the, you know, a crew standing around, everybody looking at you? It is right after the take. Uh, I mean, when, when Kristen and I, we become Jacob and Bella, and especially now that we've filmed three movies, it's just, it's, it happens. And as soon as you kiss and then you stop and you look and you have a hundred crew members watching you, it's, yeah, it's, it's a little different. <laughs> kind of snap out yeah, and you go, you oh, yeah. just see that? <laughs> All right. Um, but no, I mean, Kristen and I are very close friends. Uh, but when we, uh, when we play Jacob and Bella, we are Jacob and Bella. Your character and, and Edward yeah. are butting heads constantly, but you and Robert are probably pretty good friends. Is it, is it difficult to separate the character and the, and the personal life? It's one of the biggest challenges is having to hate Edward, but having to hate Rob. I, I can't look him in the eyes and, uh, and hate him. It's, it's challenging because he's such a funny, nice guy. And when we have these scenes where we're yelling and screaming at each other and he's grabbing my shoulder and I'm shoving it off, it's difficult, and as soon as they call cut, we both just bust out laughing. So sometimes it's hard to keep a straight face. You know, when we're doing fight scenes, I'm kind of trying to act all tough and everything, and, and I, there was a scene I had to try and grab his shoulder, and his shoulder was too big to get a grip on, and so he just kind of patted my hand off when we're supposed to both be superheroes. But then you kind of get him back, because he's got to do a bunch of scenes in this with uh, when he was wearing a sort of lycra wolf suit so he can go up and like pinch his spandex <laughs> as you're going first. It is definitely a good question, like is it weird working with your friends, is it too close to home, does it ever just not make sense to you because you know each other too well? Because we met each other in that space, I think it's easy because that's like where we, I don't know, it informs our relationship is where we met and, and, and because we both, because we all like really love this movie, it's like I don't know. It is, I know Jacob. I mean, I know Taylor and I know Rob through these people. So it's like, it's what we do. It doesn't get weird at all. It's like fun to go back to it.
You actually slipped just a little bit there. I know, you I called do that Taylor all the time. I know. Jacob. Is it? Is it? Sometimes the lines get a little blurred, huh? I mean, just with the names. Right. Seriously, it's right. like I just I, the names sometimes are I, I get them confused, which is really stupid. But <laughs> yeah.